YouTube, Topaz Yates back for another album review, and this one is to that Troy Ave Roland Collins. And you know what? This album here is pretty dope, dude. And you know, here's the thing, with a lot of rappers that find their own success and stuff being notable and stuff in the game, they always need a little something to bring them back to earth. Something that will refocus them into creating quality music like they once did, man, instead of constantly dropping nonsense music because they felt as though they were so great and they can never do no wrong type stuff, man. And sadly, the thing that did this for Troy Ave happens to be this gun charge that he's caught and it's going to send him away for quite some time because they got him on video doing this stuff, man. It's really sad because as you listen to this project, you realize why I've said years ago that this dude was one of the better acts coming out of New York. Like, take that song Hot Boy, which that has a lot of essence of 50 Cent when 50 was at his best right there, man. With solid production, got some very high energy where Troy Ave is merely just spitting on it. And he's saying some key stuff on it, like if you try to smoke away the stress that I have, you're going to blow through one of your lungs. I like that drug game track where he's ultimately spitting a story, man, where it starts with a dude trying to get into the game and he does whatever he need to do to get there but yet for the most part this whole story is about the negatives and the pitfalls that go along with the drug game man and that's something that we don't hear from all of these rappers and stuff out here man everybody wants to talk about the good and I'm selling all these bricks and all that but you don't really get to see the fact that once you go away the women that you thought you had really wasn't yours I like that real last track man where he's ultimately talking about the things that he's seeing now that he's definitely in trouble and such, man. He's starting to see all the people that wasn't really there for him that he always looked out for. He sees how quickly people were taunting on him, man. Definitely a solid track. I like that. Don't forget what he's talking about. Three different stories on there. The first one is about a kid that grew up in like a middle class family and such. He had a lot of things going for him, but yet he ultimately decided he wanted to go into the criminal lifestyle and he decided to be like a getaway driver and everything just went wrong because of it. And you know, that's a thing that tends to happen, but it's not as prevalent as people try to claim because most people who actually have something really don't go back into crime and stuff but those who do they do it just because it seemed to be the cool thing to do the second one was from a dude who was always getting played from when he was young and everything and that carried over till he got older and then he decided to go ahead and become a corrections officer and from there abused his power to get revenge on everybody that did him dirty from before man but then that ultimately caught up to him as he got gunned down in the streets for what he did to people on the inside and the last one was about a woman that had everything that she actually needed, like she had a scholarship, she was going to school, but yet ultimately she decided to go ahead and date a drug dealer because of what the drug dealer brought to the table, and she ended up getting caught in between that and getting locked up because of it. Now each of those stories honestly deserved a full song to them, man, but ultimately I enjoyed all three of these verses. Now this is a project that I definitely recommend you to go ahead and download it for when it does come out on that pit, which is probably not even going to be for free on that piff is probably going to be just a stream only and then you can go ahead and buy the individual project. If that's what it is, I would say go ahead and cop this joint, man. I give it a 8 out of 10. But this concludes today's review and now we're going to jump into a brief instrumental from underground producer Dude with Swag before we jump into the news and then jump into an article from downloadpads.com. <laughs> Now gonna be doing some production for Zumba, which for those of you who don't know, Zumba is like an exercise that people have created and such now. And now they're gonna have a soundtrack based by Timberland in order to do the exercises and stuff. And which I've been exercising a lot as of recently, man, and that's something that definitely intrigues me. You can always use some high energy type production, man, to get you going and such, man. That's something I'm definitely gonna continue to look into. But anyway, on to today's article from downloadpass.com, and today's article is about learning the game because how how do you expect to succeed in the rap game without you knowing exactly what you need to do in it? You feel me? Like that's trying to play chess and not knowing how each individual piece is supposed to move. How is you supposed to win any game if you don't know that? See, you need to know the core fundamentals of the hip hop game if you're going to find any success in it from. What do record labels actually do for you? Like what exactly is a fan base? What exactly has people in the past done in order to build their own success? 
and what's going on right now in this game that you can take advantage of, man. These are all things that you have to know. But sadly, we see too many people using outdated information from rap songs and such saying, oh, this is what Ludacris said he needed to do in order to succeed in the game. So if I do the same thing, I can see the same success when that's not how this game works. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there. And you can go to downloadpads.com, that's down there, to read today's article.